A very good morning to you, blessed and highly favored of God. God is good and his mercy endures forever. I want to warmly welcome you to Morning Your Prayers this last Sunday in the month of August, August the 28th, 2022. God has done it again. He has kept us alive. He has covered us with his mighty wings. He has upheld us. He has blessed us. And he has brought us to the very last Sunday in the month of August. So today I invite you to join us to pray and just to thank God for all that God has done. He has been marvelous. He has been glorious. And indeed, we can only but say thank you, Father. This month of August, a very, very important month in our lives. It has been a month of perfect jubilee. In fact, it's a year of jubilee. This jubilee will last forever. So today we just want to appreciate God for all that God has begun to do in all our lives. Jubilee is a season of God remembering you. It's a season of restoration. It's a season of a new beginning that will cause rejoicing, celebration, and shouts of hallelujah. And indeed, God has done it for us. Amen. This month of August has been tremendous with so many blessings, so many breakthroughs, new beginnings, increase in families, increase in finance, breakthroughs, people relocating abroad. So many good testimonies have come in this month of August and they are going to continue. So we want to appreciate God for what God has done. God has spoken his word in our lives and those words will not return to him void. They must accomplish all that he has said. And it shall be so for you in your life, in your family, in the mighty name of Jesus. So I want to invite you to join us in prayers this morning. A prayer of thanksgiving, a prayer of appreciation, a prayer of expectation, and a prayer of fulfillment of what God has said in all our lives in this season of perfect jubilee. So we're going to start with a prayer of mercy, just to ask that God's mercy will speak for us. Amen. It's by his mercies that we are not consumed. It's by his compassion that we stand. Because if God should mark our iniquity, none of us will be able to stand. Because there are some things somewhere that we have done that it might not be pleasing to God. But God has, he overlooks our sins. He forgives us our sin. We have our, our, our Savior, Jesus Christ, seated at the right hand of God, our advocate, who daily pleads on our behalf. So let's go ahead and just ask for mercy. That mercy will locate you, locate your family, locate your destiny. That the mercy of God will work for you. Father, we pray for mercy. Even this day, the last Sunday in the month of August, we are asking that your mercy will speak for us. Let your mercy locate us, locate our families, locate our loved ones, locate the church of God. Have mercy on us in everywhere that we are following shots of your glory. Please show us your mercy, show us your compassion. Lord God, let your mercy and your compassion be new in our lives, even today, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy on us, show us mercy, your mercy that can make us to move forward, because it's none of him that wills or runs, but it's of God that show mercy. Lord, let that mercy speak for us, our families, and all that concerns us, even this week, as the month is coming to an end, as we're stepping into a new month, Father, let your mercy speak for us in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. You see, I'm so excited because I know that God has spoken and it will be done. God has said it and it will be accomplished. Who is he that says the thing that it comes to pass when the Lord has not said so? No one. Once God speaks, it must manifest. And he has said we're in a season of perfect jubilee. So we're going to appreciate God and pray. A prayer of thanksgiving, a prayer of appreciation, and a prayer of expectation. Also a prayer of fulfillment. We're going to go ahead and just begin to thank God. Father, thank you for remembering me. Thank you for what you have done in my life. Thank you for what you have done in my family. Thank you, oh God, for the things that you are about to do. Father, thank you because we know that you are behind the scene, working in our behalf working tirelessly to bring to pass all that you have said concerning us, concerning our families, in the mighty name of Jesus. We are grateful to you. 
We know that you are walking behind the scene. We might not see it right now. You might not see it right now, but I can tell you, God is on your case, is on your situation, it's on your matter, and is working behind the scene to bring you to a place of glory, a place of rejoicing, a place of celebration, a place of jubilee, a new beginning. Father, we are thanking you for what you have done. Thank you for what you are doing. And thank you for what you are set to do in our lives, in our destiny, concerning our families, concerning every area of our lives, our business, our careers, our livelihood. Father, we are grateful. Concerning the church of God, that which you are about doing right now and you are set to do, even the ones that you have done in this season of Jubilee, in this season of a new beginning, in this season of restoration. Father, we are thanking you. Thank you for this month of August. Thank you for all the great things you have done. Thank you for the things that we are seeing. Thank you for the ones that are work in progress. Thank you for the ones that we are expecting. Lord, we are heavy with expectations and we know that you will fulfill it because nothing is impossible with you. You are the God of all flesh and nothing is too hard for you to do. And we trust in your word because your word must accomplish. And we are saying thank you, Father. Glory, glory, glory be to your holy name. You see, the Spirit of God told Mary in Luke chapter 1, verse 45, he said, Blessed is she who believed, for there shall be a fulfillment to those things which were told her from the Lord. Amen. So, blessed are you that you believe. Once you can believe, you know, God told, uh, Jesus told um, Martha when her brother died, Lazarus. He told her that, look, if only you will believe, you will see the glory of God. And I say to you this morning, if only you can believe that God has said you are getting restored, God has said there's a new beginning, God has said that he has remembered you, God has wiped away your evil, wrong, and horrible past, and he said to put you on a pedestal of progress, grace, glory, prosperity, if only you can believe, you too will see the glory of God. You too will find out that there will be a fulfillment to the things that the Spirit of God has said to you. So I want to pray for you that God will re-energize your faith. Your faith will come alive. The Spirit of God in you will cause you to arise in the place of faith. You will believe the Word of God. You will believe. Don't look at whoever is telling you the Word. Just trust in the Word of God. Check the scripture. Luke chapter 1 verse 45. Look at it and you will see that God said it. And if you can believe the word of God in this season, there will be restoration in your life. There will be a new beginning. There will be promotion. You will have a lot of things to rejoice over. And as it has been decreed, your rejoicing will never cease in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you today that you will believe the word of God. As you believe, the word of God will work for you. The word that God has spoken to us in this season of perfect jubilee, it will come alive in your life, in your destiny, in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not sorrow. You will not be left behind. You will not be trampled upon. You will not be forgotten because God himself has chosen to remember you. And when God remembers you, he will restore you. It will give you a new beginning and your celebration will never cease in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be for you in Jesus' mighty name, I decree. When you go to Job chapter 21 and verse 45, Job 21 verse 45 is telling us the same thing again. It says, not a word failed of any good thing which the Lord had spoken to the house of Israel. It says, all came to pass, all came to pass. Not a word will fail concerning your life. Not a word of God will fail concerning your family. Not a word that God has spoken in this season will fail concerning your destiny, your business, your marriage, your home, your occupation, your career, over your children, your parents, your spouse, your, your, your siblings, over the church of God. Not a word of God failed. He said every word spoken over the house of Israel, over your home, over your family, over your business, over your career, 
over your health, over your finance, over your expectations, over your applications, over your projects. It says none will fail. And it says again, all of them came to pass. I pray for you. Every word that God has spoken concerning you. Every word that you believe that God has directed to you in your direction. It will come to pass in your life. Your restoration will come to pass. Your jubilee will come to pass. Your perfection will be established. Your restoration will be established. Your new beginning in glory will be established. It will come to pass. That expectation, that promise of God, that word of knowledge, that prophecy, good prophecy, that God has spoken concerning your family, whether it be in your career, in politics, in your education, in your business, in your career, it will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. We stand on the word of God and we declare it. And I pray for you. I join my faith with yours and I declare unto you the word of God will come to pass in your life. None of the word failed. It will not fail for you. It will not fail in your home. It will not fail concerning you. As God has said, we are in a season of perfect jubilee, a season of restoration, a season of a new beginning, a season of open doors, a season of mountain on top the wings of eagle and flying high. It will manifest in your life. It will come to pass. It will be established. Everyone will see it and they will rejoice with you in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare this word of God upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. It shall come to pass. I declare again the word of God concerning you in this season going forward. Amen. It shall come to pass. It shall manifest. None will fail. In the mighty name of Jesus. No matter how you fret. No matter how long it takes. No matter the circumstance you are going through right now. No matter the difficulty. No matter the trials. The challenges. The storm. The word of God will come to pass. In your situation. In your life. In your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Proverbs 13 and verse 19. Proverbs 13, verse 19. It says, a desire accomplished is sweet to the soul. It's sweet to the soul. I pray for you, brothers, sisters, daddies and mommies. I pray for you. Every desire of your heart, God will accomplish it. And it will be sweet to your soul in the name of Jesus. Those things that made you to cry in the night that nobody knows, God will accomplish it in your life. God will accomplish it in your family. He will accomplish it in your business. He will accomplish it in your ministry. He will accomplish it in your career, in your livelihood, in the things that you set out to do, that project that looks abandoned. God will accomplish it. And I declare over you, your rejoicing will not cease in the name of Jesus. You see, it is when God accomplishes the desire of your heart, amen, that you will begin to rejoice. That's why in a season of perfect jubilee, the outcome is rejoicing. You, there's, there's celebration. There are shouts of hallelujah. They are singing, dancing, celebration. God will cause singing, dancing, celebration in your life, in your family, in your destiny, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree over your life as this month is coming to an end. Every of your desires in alignment with the will of God. It shall be accomplished in the name of Jesus. The word of God will break barriers for you. The word of God will keep the enemy silent for your sake. The word of God will remove every obstacle on your path. The power of God will silence the wicked hand of the enemy over your possessions, over your family, over all that concerns you in the name of Jesus. The power of God will direct your path. It will give you the wisdom you need to succeed, to apply the right knowledge, to be at the right place at the right time. The favor of God that gives you what you're not qualified for will come your way in this season, in the name of Jesus. All that it takes for your joy to be full, for your desires to be accomplished, for your heart to rejoice, for your soul to live for joy, for your heart to be filled with joy, 
God will do for you, for your family, and all that concerns you in the mighty name of Jesus. It does not matter how difficult, how stranded you may be. God will arise for you. He will make a way for you. He will fight for you. He will give you permanent victory. And your rejoicing will last forever in the name of Jesus. In this season of perfect jubilee, God has gone ahead of you. He's making a way for you. He's opening doors for you. He's restoring all that has been stolen. All your losses shall come your way in the name of Jesus. Everything you have lost before, it will be returned back to you. And this time around, in a season of new beginning, you will begin afresh. You will begin in joy. You will begin at the right place. No more errors. No more failure. No more stagnancy. No more pain. No more sorrow. But joy will fill your heart in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare the word of God upon you. Your desires shall be accomplished in the mighty name of Jesus. Every abominable thing in your life, the Spirit of God will wipe it away. Give you a fresh start. A fresh start of glory in the mighty name of Jesus. As we step into this last week of the month, God is going ahead of you. And it's going to cause you to accomplish in the name of Jesus. There will be fulfillment of the word of God in your life, in your destiny, in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything you lay your hands to do will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. The favor of God will find you. It will be with you. It will open doors for you in the name of Jesus Christ. You will receive good news. Promotion is coming your way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everything that God has spoken concerning you, all of them, every single one of them, it will come to accomplishment. It will be fulfilled. Not one word that will fail. It shall all come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. And people will rejoice with you because they will see the glory of God in your life, in your family, in the mighty name of Jesus. So this week, I declare that this is a week of accomplishment. This is a week that you will be fulfilled. This is a week that you will receive your expectations. This is a week that your expectations will turn around into manifestations because of the power of God that is released upon you right now in the name of Jesus. As you step out, step out in confidence, knowing that God is with you. God is ahead of you, is making a way for you, is working behind the scenes to bring to perfection all that he has said concerning you. Remember, in all situations, remember that this is your season of jubilee. It's your season of restoration. It is your season of a new beginning. And it is your season of rejoicing. No matter the trials, the obstacle, you shall surely rejoice because the word of God must accomplish in your life and your soul will be merry, you will be happy, you will be joyous, and indeed you will serve the Lord with all your heart. So shall it be for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless you this morning and I decree your week is blessed. Your week is prosperous. Your week is a week of manifestation of all your expectations. And by the time you come to the end of the month, your jubilee has already begun in the name of Jesus. So shall it be for you in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Your rejoicing starts now and you are rejoicing forevermore. So shall it be for you in Jesus' mighty name. Do have a very pleasant Sunday and have a fulfilled week ahead. Remember, your week that you are about to start is a week of the fulfillment of all your expectations. All your expectations shall come into manifestation. So shall it be for you in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. You shall be unstoppable. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Have a very good Sunday. God bless you. Shalom.